Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Far Cry Friday. I'm your host, Carlos Vade. Yes, it's been about three months since we've done this because it's been three very busy months with a lot of awesome games and more on the way. It's nuts how many great games are continuing to come down the pike down here in 2024. So many good games. We got horses. But it's Friday, and it's a good news Friday. I have had some really, I don't know what you want to call it, other than good news, buoyant news. Uh, I sent I sent some private messages, DMs to a couple of people that I wanted to share the news with and said at the end of it that I'm basically vibrating right now because I'm so excited. And I made a, a vague post on Twitter about how it's so awesome when you get good news on a Friday because it's like jet fuel. It's like being strapped to the back of a rocket ship as you head into the weekend. It's so great. I love it when people give you good news on a Friday. And I may talk a little bit about what that news is in this video. We'll see. We'll get there. Over here. What do you got for me? Danny picked up some radio chatter from a convoy that circles near Los Sabios Valley. Can't ask for a better target. Hey, thanks. So, target there. I've got this punk up here. What am I running for a loadout anyways? I'm not sure. Got this one. It's this, 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 this. This is... Guys, the one thing I wish I could do is trade this for a shotgun. What's... This... Oh, this is a very explosive... This is the explosive loadout. Okay. Can't remember my Lotus. This is the stealth go in loadout. And then what's this one? Oh, this is the flamethrower and poison loadout. Okay. I almost want to switch this one right here. This is my sniper loadout. And I'm thinking, what do I have for shotguns? This has a 15 magazine. What's this one have? Seven. What's the damage like? And then there's this. This has a magazine sandwich, but its damage is really low. Overclocked shotguns. Oh, so we got the Libertad Custom. We got this thing. I'm thinking I need a shotgun because I like this guy up ahead of us has the dog. Let's look at this one. Can we modify this? What's it got? It's got buckshot rounds, for close range, high reds, high pellets. Customize the appearance and charms. What's this? Oh, I got to be at a workbench. That's right. Okay. So that's what? That's our second weapon? Okay. All right. We'll get to a workbench. Oh, geez. And there's another one over there on a horse. I normally shoot everyone, but I want to get down here and do this. It says, meet Raphael. His forge papers will help me get the refugees out. So let's go take a look. God, I miss this game. It's so pretty. Ah, so much, so much beauty. Okay, what do we have here? Down you go, doggy. Oh, I got these big bastards right here. Wow, look at you guys. Oh, man, it's going to make a bunch of noise to shoot you guys, isn't it? These guys are running up here in this direction, though. Get out of here. You punk. Alright. Let's go take a look. I meant to squirrel suit that, but... What do we have over here? That's got to be Raphael. Raphael. 
Oh yeah, we're gonna have to take some people out, aren't we? Not get eaten by an alligator. What do we have here? Tenga. Military's got them. Better watch my step. Bembe, why is it everywhere you send me I find trouble? Speculation is a waste of time. And time is money. Take matters into your own hands, Rojas. And fast. Rafael is there somewhere. Secure the area and release them. Okay. Can we secure the area by stabbing that person in the back? Get out of here. Help me! I need to get back up here. Help! Help! They need to tag people. Officer, have to be Who careful. Else do we have. We got this guy right up here. Is that it? I'm good. Hey. Can I stab? Can I just stab this guy in the back? I think I can. Here that you need to free. Someone, save! Get out of here and stop screaming. <laughs> I can't really stab him, can I? He's too big. Oh no, we can get him. Get it in there between his suit. Okay. Nice. All right, my friend. Oh yeah, over here. Gracias. Did Bembe send you? See, si. you Rafael. I got papers for you. They're in the truck nearby with Bembe's costumers. You better hurry. What about you? I'm going back to my studio. I have more art to create. <laughs> Bembe, Artist. I got your clients and your papers from Rafael. Okay, Ross. Now make sure my precious cargo gets to the port. See. Si. Okay. There's something up in this tower, though. So we should go do that. I hope everybody's getting supercharged for a good weekend themselves. I'm really looking forward to my weekend being relatively healthy, finally. Gunpowder! Awesome. Okay. So where do I have to go? Oh, right there. Okay. What is the wingsuit? Is it shift? Shift is the wingsuit. It's been a while. It's been three months. I gotta remember the controls. Rojas? Reach Bembe. Struck Bembe is such a great villain. Morning's coming. Nice. Everyone good back there? Si, si. Vámonos. Yeah, I'm in the truck. Boss waiting. Try not 
to damage the goods. Goods? I got a truck full of people here. No, Danny. That's a truck full of money. Where do I have to go? I have to go here. So I'm going to want to take a left and get on the highway. Yeah. Okay. My money. No! What are you doing? Ross, get back in the truck. Oh my gosh, I hit the wrong thing and I got out of the car. Two minutes. Two minutes. Let's see if we can get there. Wait a minute, Christmas trees? Do we even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think El Presidente funded Maria's new face? Okay. Go through. <laughs> That's pretty funny. The, the voice actor for female Danny is so good. Bembe better so, be here. So very good. Oh, am I going to have to get out of this thing? What's going on here? This looks like a high security area. I saw an alarm. Bambe, what's going oh, on, yeah. my man? You do beautiful work, Rojas. I'm sure our friends here will be very appreciative. Ah, momento, amigos. This isn't your stop. Que coño, they're not going? Business expense. What the fuck does that mean? My talent is commerce, Rojas. Why don't you leave that part to me and you can focus on your talents? Run back and tell Paolo he has my permission to leave. Vaya con Dios. He's a bad, 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 bad man. He's very bad. He's also a great villain. <laughs> Paolo! Good news. Bembe's off your back. That was one hell of a debt you owed. Gracias, Danny. We keep this between us. Talia hates everything Bembe represents. I owe you one. But Talia and I are still getting off this island. Yeah, okay. Oh, so I know what I wanted to do here, actually. I know exactly what I want to do. I have a plan. I have a plan. Let's look at the map. Where are we at here? Which one's this? Treasure hunt. Okay, we're looking for Oku's Trad, a relic. These are the ones we're looking for. Alright, so the Triada. <laughs> and we should have already done one over here. The last one to leave. Treasure hunt. There, there are different ones in different regions. There's one over here. Anyways, when you finish these, this triad of relic thing, uh, you get like the coolest backpack in the game and, a, and the coolest gun. It can shoot through walls, so we want to go in that direction. I mean, it makes certain parts of the game really fun, like when you have those airdrops that you have to get to and you run up on them and there's usually eight or nine guys there waiting for you you just hit that backpack and, and mow them all down it's an absolute blast How, what's our fastest way over there it's overland okay so i gotta basically turn the other way i gotta go this way okay so a little bit about news a little bit about what's got me so excited on a Friday, since we're going to have to walk our way over here and find uh, transportation. So, uh, can, can, can we take this facility out right now? 
Maybe we can. Do they only have the one alarm? Hmm. Is there something up there? Danny, what about this? Can you can you not get up there? for me Danny more gunpowder awesome okay well let's switch here we go this alarm is too tough to shoot not when we do it with that is that the only alarm Oh, I missed the message. I think it's the only alarm, isn't it? I don't see another one. Okay. Snipe at. Hmm. Get a guy there. Let's see. Let's put this cross. There's on. the officer in charge. I got you. I know I got a guy on the other side of that tank because we saw him walking over from there. There's a bunch of gasolina down there. And then I have a guy on the other side of the fence here. Right there. Okay. That one's down. Okay, we can kill all these guys. Hostages. <laughs> okay. Oh, we have somebody over here? Where are they at? I got no music. What's going on with this? Options. Audio. Master volume. Radio music volume is down. Score music volume. Yeah. Give me music. Did she see somebody? I'll find them, she says. There we go. No, you won't find them. I'm thinking about going over here and getting all this gasoline. Gasolina. Because there was a bunch over here. Oh, it's way down there, though. Okay. Really, all I was doing was looking for a car. Oh, my gosh. Give me a car. More gasoline. All right, get this punk. Could, could get on the old machine gun and take that guy down. There's no car over here. Oh. Well then. I thought they'd have one parked here. What the hell? Oh, we have gorillas. Gorillas. What do you got for me? Hey, got something for you. What do you know? Patriotism doesn't pay enough. Here's where you'll find the supplies, guerrilla. Gracias, gracias. Giant crocodile back there about to eat everybody. You can have that. I'll take your bribe. 
That is a big ass crocodile. Oh, I got the wrong weapons out now. Supreme already. Wow, he's taking a pounding. He's taking a pounding and he's taking off. Oh, so there's a guy way over there. I know you should run. First of all, that was a giant crocodile. Give it. Give it, give it, give it. I would like seeing that crocodile eat that guy over there. All right, let's keep walking. So Friday's good news. Let's do a little backstory here. Uh, for the people who know me a little better than just the random watchers on the channel, people who are a little closer to me, which there are a few. And they follow me on Twitter and stuff, and they know that I'm a writer, and I've been writing novels now for a little while. Queried a novel last year. And I wrote a new science fiction story this fall. So I wrote a science fiction story that I just really thought was a pretty cool idea. And a few people read it. And I had my critique partners go through it. And just this over the winter break, basically, December, January, I had a bunch of beta readers read it. Got really, really positive feedback from it. So I started querying it in February. And this morning I woke up to a literary agent making a full request on it, but not just any full request. I thought it was really nice the way they phrased it. Uh, first of all, when anybody tells you that they would love to read your manuscript, that's a good sign. Then when they're also saying they're not asking for an exclusive read on it, but sh but they said um, they said. Please let me know if anybody else makes an offer on this book. Because they, they want to counter it then. And I thought that was... I mean... I just kind of... Kind of blew up like a rocket ship. For about a, an hour this morning. Sent a text message and DMs to a couple of friends. And I'm like, I'm literally vibrating right now. Because the, here's the thing. is This is a really good sign. Um, I queried... Let's see. Oh. I queried roughly 60 agents with my first manuscript. And as I'm making this video on uh, a Friday in March 2024, I actually still have a full request for that out with an agent. But it didn't get... I mean, my hit rate for full request versus the number of agents I queried has not been stellar. And this is a pretty common thing that you'll hear with other writers when they get there, when they finally get signed by an agent, they'll say they wrote their first book and it was, it was okay, but your first book is never great. No matter how much uh, you might want it to be because you spend a lot of time just learning the craft of writing and storytelling. I think I still have a strong belief in, in that first book and I, I do want it to see the light of day, but I know that there are lessons that I, that I had to take from it and apply to the second book. And what happens with a lot of writers is they'll query their first book and they might do like I did. They might've got a couple of full requests, but no agent uh, representation. And, and it's just not quite the level of involvement or interest that you want to see. And then they'll query their, they'll write their second book and they'll query that. And I've heard so many stories of writers saying on their second book, they're like, yeah, I sent out a bunch of queries and I had seven offers of representation. And they'll be like, I had seven full requests, you know, right off the bat. And that's a really, really good sign. And uh, 
so the level of activity that I'm seeing already with these with my queries that I that I literally just sent out <laughs> is really really promising so I'm very excited about that really excited about the possibility of having a literary interest take enough interest in the the work to want to represent it and represent me and, and represent all the stories that I want to tell because I do have that first book I just started work on an on a third book that I think could be really interesting I also have the first chapter of another book that I really like um, which I mean it's just one chapter but when I got done writing it I was like oh my god this could be a really cool book I think you got to have a really solid start to begin with you know Warning, keep out. The estate is closed due to unexplained incidents. An investigation is underway to determine the truth behind the rumors of tryout treasure. Another highest entry is strictly forbidden. To get the authorization, speak to your supervisor. Okay. Oh, shit. I'll come back when it's dark then. Oh, so we have to wait till it's dark. Okay. Look like weird things happen at night. Well, what are we going to do until darkness? I don't, I don't think we can wait in this game, can we? You may be able to, but I don't know how to do it. Okay, darkness. Well, what are we going to do until then? What is there to do? There's this treasure hunt. An underground club has been flooded. And there's these two things down here. We need a vehicle. It's what we need. And what's this down here? Treasure hunt. There's the gorillas. And then there's what? There's this Radio Libertad. Okay. Spec Ops and the Black Market. Where's the nearest automobile place? Well, can we... There's that. Anti-aircraft. What can I drop into? Meet the legends. We have to get down there and meet those guys. Maybe that's the, Maybe this is the episode to do that. Then there's this. There's a checkpoint right there. Okay. Well then, we'll head over that way. I hear people shooting. Well, that's what I'm hearing. Oh, that, that worked. We got some grenades on that guy. Hey, guys, I need your, I need your bike. I need your bike. <laughs> okay, I was afraid of this. There, there's a lot of activity here, isn't there? There's someone here. Who do we have here? Got a horse. Okay. I gotta get going, people. You guys, have fun. Take care. And in post-production, I will probably put La Rubia. It's probably playing right now because I just love this damn song. I'm so happy that I know of this song's existence because of this video game.
Out of the road, punk. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, Friday, Far Cry Friday, I thought I would just play something that was kind of easy to deal with for me. Doesn't require a whole lot of thinking. I can just kind of play and shoot bullets. It's always great. And just, I'm playing this really just to, just to slow my heart rate down. Because it's very exciting, you know, to get to this point where I've written two books, I'm starting on a third, I've got a bunch more ideas that I think are really cool, that could make really entertaining stories, I have a really strong belief in this second book, this science fiction one, just because the plot is, the plot is fantastic. And if you put really cool characters in a really neat plot, characters that people can root for and like, then I think you have a recipe for something. That could be really cool here. So to have interest in that is it's very exciting. Doesn't mean anything, of course. I can't oh I can't be here. I didn't watch myself. Arsenal. Nice Where is it? Where is the... Oh, it's way over on the other side. Oh, jeez. Okay. Checkpoint. Better be careful. We gotta get over to the other side. I hear you. What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Is there a guy up on the roof? Where is that thing? There it is. Should disable the alarm. There we go. Now where's this last guy? Right there. Okay, where's the sign? Where is the sign? There it is. What do I have for grenades? I don't know. What do I have for grenades? How do I access my grenades? I thought they were on here. I thought you just had to press this. Oh, there we go. Like that. What's this? Perception grenade, throwing knife. Let's go back to... Sticky. There we go. Doink. It's been a while since we've done that. I do love capturing outposts and stuff. It's so much fun. Okay. That's handled. Jeez. Taking me a while to relearn all the mechanics here. What do we have? We got this. And this. And this. We got the AS Val. Okay. I think my bike is still over there. Nice. But what else can we do here? You, my friend, got some stuff hey, for me. Come here. You got something for me? Danny, 
There's a checkpoint that's thought of everything we've thrown at it. We need you to clear it, Danny. Appreciate it. I am the person for the job. Oh, do we have a buggy? We do. Oh, can I get this buggy somewhere? Okay, okay. Bring it to a vehicle checkpoint. Do I have a vehicle checkpoint anywhere close by? Gosh, I don't, do I? Oh my gosh. Where is the nearest vehicle checkpoint? Do I need to zoom in even more? I do. I got horse checkpoints. There's a vehicle checkpoint right there. It's not that far away. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This thing is a little squirrely, isn't it? Whoa, dude, you need to turn right. Okay. Wow, this is a bucket of bolts, isn't it? Slow down. Ruby is great, but let's do this. I need some different music. Oh, that might not be an improvement. <laughs> Maybe I'll just have to go back to inserting La Rubia in here. This is definitely not my kind of music. I wish there was a way to go through. Some games will let you do this, like um, Old World is a great game that will let you do this. So it will let you go through it and manually select and unselect every single track that you want to play while playing it. And I love that it gives you that power because that's what I would like to do with this game. Just be able to select individual pieces of music and say, play this. You know what? And here's something else that video games should probably do. Although I think it's really a bad idea to rely upon third-party stuff. But it would be really cool if you could just point it at a Spotify playlist and say, play this for me. Okay. Oh, that hurts my ears. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry for that. Back to La Rubia. Nice song, nice lady's voice. That was unpleasant. Okay, so it's this one that we were just at. It's great, where we had that truck. Get it over here. There we go. There it is. Awesome. Yes. Oh, I like collecting cars. I keep saying that Cyberpunk needs to allow people to do this, because this would be the coolest way to do it. Let's see, what kind of car do we have? Where are we going next? Let's just collect a few things to end this episode. We're 38 minutes in. There's... And the beat goes on. Let's go to here. What do I have for cars? I still don't have the really good car. I can't see it here because these are too grayed out for me to see, but... There's a car in here somewhere in the game, and I need to figure out where it is and where to go get it, but it's not even showing up there. I'm trying to find it. I think it's this one, the Verrazano Bravo. That one. Okay. Where do we get that one from? Find this vehicle in yard, bring it back to any vehicle point. This car is like an old-fashioned James Bond car, like during the Roger Moore days. And it's the best car in the game. And I want it. I I'm going to look something up for a second. And see if I can figure this out. Okay. I know how to do this. I watched the, I watched the tutorial that was painfully too long to do this. But here's what we're going to do. You can actually do a grand... A grand primo premio race to do it so we're going to airdrop to there
and I'm going to select it as right there. Wingsuit, we're gonna turn around. So I did not know this because the first two times I played this game, I think I've played through it twice now. I just found the car and I found it way over on the eastern side of the map because you can just find it. But apparently this is an easy way to unlock it right off the bat, so why not? Why not do it this way? I like the sounds of this. And I'm going to take a second to look at my arsenal here. This has got this, this, this. Okay. What's it got? For It's got an optical socket. EMP. All right. It's either that or... This. What's it got? It's got get sticky EMP, perception grenade, throwing knife for silence, and a baseball to distract enemies. I'm going to change. Oh, I gotta wait to change that though. Okay, you gotta have a spot to change that at. I want to make it so that. Uh, well, we'll grab this first. Blessing. I want to make I'm it so that when I'm using my EMP hey. one to take down, to clear uh, roadblocks that I have a sticky grenade to throw at the signage because that's the thing that, that you gotta get rid of at the end. Third time's the charm. Listen, I know jet skis are fun, but this is no tourist ride, okay? There's mines in that water and they will blow you sky high. It's not the mines. Well, it was the mine the first time. And then it was a ramp. I got stuck in a ramp. It's no bueno. It's, it's it's I'm still learning how to, how the momentum of this thing works on the water. It's, it doesn't feel entirely consistent to me. But this is going a little better this time. So there's hope that there's a ramp in the tunnel up here. If I get stuck on it again, I'm going to be very irritated. This is not so bad. And then this is no way. There we go. This might, yeah. That tight turn there was where I blew up last time. 40 seconds. There we go. Grand Suprema race done. Double clutch, you get that sniper rifle. Unbelievable. <laughs> but now Ross, more important, you get that car. <laughs> they love you, Danny. And so do I. Call me if you want another lap. Take that. Boom, boom. Come. You fascist scumbags. So, we haven't been here and got this? Oh, gosh. Okay. Well, this is what I love about this game. Boom, boom. Oh, you cute puppers. Accidentally called you in.
Can I get that up there? What am I doing? Climb this. There we go. Let's get up there. Oh, it's going to be nighttime soon. Next episode, we're going to have to go to that spot at night and do that quest. A moxman jacket. And a spray can. But yeah, it's getting dark. So where is... What is this? Black Ops Market, yeah. We wanted to get in position to do this, though. The treasure hunt. So... We can airdrop here and do the beat goes on. Let's airdrop here then. All right, which way? This way. Oh, it's getting dark though. The sun is going down. Right there. Okay. Come on. I'll tell you what. We'll do this and the other one next episode. This will be fun. Everybody, I'm having a good start to my Friday. And I hope you are too. So. <laughs> it's just. It's a good Friday. All right, everybody. As usual, dig it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave your questions and comments down below. I'll see you next time. And until then. Happy gaming, everyone.